and today for the first time in almost two years because of the pandemic I've been on public transport oh. um, so um, I'll share I'll share good morning good evening good afternoon was it good morning afternoon and evening yeah then that's right <laughs> it's Monday morning in England and it's back holiday and the weather yeah I am being all spring in what I am wearing is a pale blue jumper. I don't believe I've actually done a cutout video for this. So I have cut, cut it out myself. Um, but I do have videos on how to do cutouts on t-shirts, so I'll link those below. So I'm going to show you how I'm going to be teaming this pale blue jumper, which is wool, because the weather isn't warm enough just yet to go any lighter than that. But even though I've got the cutouts, it's 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 working, it's workable. So I am teaming it with a pair of jeans, some floral jeans, and I'll show you how I decided to come up with wearing my kind of powder, yeah, powder blue jumper in order to make it look flawless in the way that I am dressed. So let me bring you down. These are the jeans, and as you can see, they have a white, a grey, a kind of beige colour in here and blue and that's how I decided that so any one of these colours that are in whatever floral jeans you are work you, you are wearing you can actually pick out any of these colours and then on the top half that's the colour you go with so if you're not sure then always choose colours that are in your bottom section or the top section and then that is how you can get a little bit more confident about how you will pair colours together. I've also decided that I'm going to get put these shoes on, which kind of picks up from the cream that's in the jeans, and that kind of teams well and finishes off my outfit. I've also done that with my bag, which is here and I picked up the silver hardware that's in the bag to match my jewellery, which I'll show you now. So these are my silver dangly earrings and that is how I'm finishing off my look. Today I've got a more male look to my outfit, basically because I'm wearing a man's shirt which is also jeans as well. But I'm going to feminise it a little bit which I'll show you in a minute. So let me just go through what I'm wearing. So I have a black choker on here and like I said a man's shirt. I've also got a camisole underneath a white cami and I'm wearing some white pearls yeah pearls <laughs> and this shirt is actually being fitted to my body I do have a video tutorial in how to make a shirt smaller is it a shirt or a t-shirt uh, yeah either or I've linked them below but I'm sure I've done a t-shirt I think I know I've definitely done a t-shirt and it's almost the same method anyway um, but yeah, yeah, possibly. I've got so many video tutorials on my channel, I just don't know where to start when I give you this advice. Um, yes, just check the links <laughs> below the in the description. So, like I said, I'm wearing um, a fitted man shirt and I'm wearing some boyfriend jeans and some white loafers. So I've got a strong hint of white because white kind of illuminates an outfit. Um, so I kind of made sure that when I was picking out my accessories, that whites were what I'm good, what I was going to go for, as opposed to blue, because it's also blue that I'm wearing in my outfit today. So let me give you a twirl. There we go. Now let's see where do I start my jacket. I start with my jacket. Now this is where I said I was going to feminise it a little bit. So as you know, I love men's jacket and I've got quite a few men's jacket. But I do so. I do also have some uh, women's jackets as well um, that I like to wear. 
So this is a ready to wear jacket, so I didn't make this. So it's it's more structured than a man's jacket because it takes in you know consideration the waist and the boobs. Men's jackets do have some construction to them, but not as much as women's. So it, it gives a different look than you know like with the man's jacket. If you're not getting one that's too fitted, it's a little bit more boxy, which I like. There we go. So I've got the cuffs out at the bottom. Can't really see my um my bracelets, but it's a feeling rather than being on show. I can feel that they're there. And sometimes that's what you need to go for when you are dressing. Now I've kept the collar up because of the white, and it's a bit different as well. But yes, so as you can see, it's a bit more fitted to my body shape. And if I wanted to, I can also button it. Let's have a go. Oh yes, that's quite nice actually. And I've got the shirt sticking out at the bottom, which I'll show you in a minute. Yeah, it's nice. Let's pull a collar. Oh, so it's standing like that. Yeah. That's a, nice, that's a nice silhouette. And then I'm going to finish it off with a bag. I'm going to go for this white bag. This tiny bag that, yeah, it's really small. I don't know what I'm going to be able to get into that part for my keys. Um, but yeah, that's my look for today. And I'm wearing gold earrings that I picked up from the bag. But it's hardware. Now bring it down so you can see the bottom of me. such a fun top that I'm wearing today. Um, yeah, <laughs> I'm loving it. I know I say this about most, not all, of my refashion makes, but I, I've got to give it a 10 out of 10 for this one. Um, it used to be a pair, of, a pair of sweatpants and I am so happy with the results and the way it's turned out. And I encourage anybody who um, is looking for an easy project, then this one is definitely one to go for. I can't promise there isn't going to be any hand sewing, but it really is your choice. But if you are new to my channel, then on a Wednesday I do tutorials where I show you how to refashion clothing. So if you're into that sort of thing, it definitely is worthwhile subscribing to my channel. Even for Friday's videos where I show you how I team all my refashion makes along with garments that I have sewn and also high street pieces. So with that said, let me show off my new top. <laughs> Give you a twirl. <gasps> it is so gorgeous. And look at all these folds. Um, do watch the video tutorial because I do go into a lot more detail about the folds and you know the look of how it looks, how it's been transformed. So please do watch that. I'll put a link below in the description show so that you can go along and watch that. But um, at the moment, the sleeves are short. So if you're gonna go for a pair of joggers, make sure they're extra long, I suppose, if, you want, if you've got long arms like me. But to resolve that problem, all I need to do is just pull that up. <gasps> and then it produces gorgeousness. Yes. I love pulling up my sleeves anyway, so that is this isn't an issue for me. I like this. I do. It's gorgeous. Yes. And so let me just show you again. Give another as well. There they are. And I'm wearing it with a pair of uh, jeans. These are floral jeans, and I wore them early on in the week. It just teams really well together. Um, I tucked it into my jeans. Oh, missed a bit there. But they can be a little bit of a crop top, um, depending on the length of the crutch. Anyway, go and watch the video. So yes, so I've teamed it with, like I said, a pair of jeans. Um, it's my uh, dangly silver earrings, pearls. <laughs> oh, my earring just fell off. <laughs> yeah, excuse me a moment. When I just put the back on. Yes, I do wear um, clip-ons. There we go. Let me 
Let me bring you down. So these are the jeans I'm wearing it with. And I've also got some white shoes on. And these are wedges with ankle straps that are really nice. Very comfortable as well, they are very comfortable shoes. Wedges tend to be a much more comfortable shoe, especially when we're going for quite a high heel. And yeah, I'm going to team it with this bag. I don't think you can see the colour though. There's a, there's a lilac undertone to the pants and it's almost the same kind of colour tone as the top where it's a powdery blue and this is powdery lilac. Hopefully you can see that, hence the reason I've chosen this bag. And then I'm going to finish it off with a pair of sunglasses. My outfit of the day. And it's literally almost nine o'clock in the evening. I didn't have time to do this video of my outfit before I left home today for the first time in almost two years because of the pandemic I've been on public transport. Oh. Um, so um, I'll share I'll share that information, the reason why I went to my hometown. And um, yeah, I haven't been there for many years. My parents still live there, but I have been to the city centre. So that was an experience. So I'll share with share that with you at some point. Why the reason why I was there. Anyway, my outfit today is this refashion jacket, and you may have seen this before, but I've got a few additions to this. So um, I do have a video tutorial for this jacket. It was actually attached to the jacket, and um, I detached it basically because of the sleeves that I've got now, but it will be attached at some point again. Um, yeah, it's a very versatile jacket, that's what I'd say. Let me just take the jacket off and then show you oh, my top. Oh, I've had, I've, had, I've had that on all day. So, the addition I've got to this is this neck tie situation that's happening and also a mask. I did have a scarf at one point and I do remember when I actually did this beauty in tutorial that I had quite a bit of fabric left over and I was thinking of it as being a scarf and one of two of you actually says no it didn't quite go because I was in two minds and um, so thank you and yeah so this is what I'm done so I've got another mask to make and I've made this and I've still got a bit of fabric left over so I'm going to make a head scarf with what's left over so yeah so this is my outfit for today let me just show you I'm just wearing jeans and, and red trainers Oh, there's my bag. <laughs> I've had this big bag all day. Yeah. So this is my outfit for today. It's actually Saturday today. And it's been a hectic week, especially the latter half of the week. Um, today, woke up. It's foggy. It's like, we're in May. Fog usually happens in England around about September, October, November. Hmm, I don't know. I hope the sun will come out at some point. So I'm making sure I'm wearing a jumper. Do excuse me for blurring out. I do have to get it in the background when I'm wearing white. Oh. Anyway, so my outfit today, I haven't, there isn't anything that I have on that I've made or refashioned. Um, I've, so I've, I've got a styling tip which I probably share with you some other time because like I said, I'm, I'm quite, it's quite a hectic week for me this week. So I'll just quickly go through what I'm wearing. So I'm wearing a nice warm jumper. Been told that the weather is going to, there's going to be some sunshine later. I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> so, um, and it's got diamantes on it. So when the sun or if the sun comes out, I will sparkle. Which I don't mind. 
<laughs> and I've got a pair of paper bag striped pants on. Um, my look today is pretty much eclectic, I would say. Um, very mild one. So, so it's not my usual kind of look, but I like to push myself sometimes and challenge myself to see if I can make something work. I think this works. If you don't think it works, or you do think it works, then let me know in the comments. Um, but yeah, so I'll show you the rest of my outfit. Actually, before I do that, I will. Yeah, I'll, I'll finish accessorising myself. So I'm going to be wearing these sunglasses, which are white frames. And that, the white frames, not only picks up from the jumper, but also the pants as well. And because it's a frame, the white, and there's white stripes, it, it, it keeps the outfit, um, what's the best word to describe, not too distracting. Um, so the, the, the sunglasses, because sometimes white frames, sunglasses can create a lot of attention um, but there's a balance there's a balance between the top part of me and the bottom part of me and then I've got this white bag which has gold hardware but the reason why um, I'm not going for my other um, small white bag is because I wanted to sit more or less around my chest area so I can only play around with the handle on this which I'll show you the neat trick that I've done with that some other time so I'm going to put that across my body in the fashion industry utilization mix gold and silver do what you want if it makes you happy so yes so I wanted to sit just like that so my hands are free and it also interrupts the balance, the solid balance between having white at the top here and then stripes at the bottom. Um, so there's nothing asymmetrical going on, but you can create that asymmetricalness. Is that a word? I don't know. Um, with accessories, because as you can see, it's lying to one side of my body. Um, so yeah, so I'll show you the bottom half of me now. So I've got silver shoes on, so that's picking up for the silver that's in my jumper with the diamantes and also my earrings. So that's my look for today. I also should mention belt as well, shouldn't I? Yeah, my mirror belt. So this is really what's bringing it all together and the fact that I haven't tied the belt that comes with it. So it's kind of half, and I put a belt with it, and then just giving my own personal touch to how I want to style something, especially if I'm wearing something that I haven't um, refashioned or I haven't made. So that's my outfit for today. Gotta go, see you next week.